Hey guys, Chris Camaro here again. Uh, I got a bit of a problem today. This is kind of depressing. I uh, tried to start my Camaro because, you know, you have to do that periodically even when you're not driving it to make sure the battery doesn't die on you. And, you know, it's winter time, so uh, I just finished dealing with my other car and I, I, I you know, jumped my memory. I thought oh, I should start this one, right? So. Of course it was dead so I had to recharge it and once I got like a little bit of juice into it to get to get enough juice into it so that I could start it this happened Okay so that you know the number of times it has to crank over is alarming enough as it is but look at what's going on with the gauge cluster I got no RPMs, I got no speed, I mean speed obviously, yeah, but I got no RPMs. It's got all these warnings coming up everywhere. Uh, I don't even know where to start. You know, uh, it's just screwed up and I don't know what the hell happened. So I'm going to have to figure this out and I uh, figured this would probably make a good topic for a video in case anybody else has had this problem happen to them. I'm just trying to go through the menu right now and I can barely even get to the menu. I have to click the button like three, four times just to get past all those warnings and then it looks like the computer's remembering everything okay, but I don't know. Voltage is okay, so the alternator's recharging the battery and all that stuff, but just every friggin' warning light in the world is on, so, uh, yeah, I, I didn't need this, but now I've got this problem, so let's fix it. Okay, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but let's try disconnecting the battery and see if that helps. Sometimes disconnecting the battery can reset everything. You know, especially if it's computer, electrical related or whatever. <laughs> okay, good. It's a 10 mil socket. I'll disconnect the negative side. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the one I want to disconnect. It's this one. This one over here. What the hell? Okay, never mind. It's this one. Alright, now that that's loose, there we go, pull that off, I'm probably going to get like a piece of plastic or something to insulate that so it doesn't touch, anyway, uh, idea here is just to leave this disconnected for, I don't know, a couple hours, however long it takes for the capacitors and all that stuff in the car to discharge, so I'll come back in a little while and, uh, We'll see if that made any difference whatsoever. All right, it's been about an hour, so I'm gonna see if this did anything. If the computer maybe reset itself. Okay, put the clamp back on and uh, grab your wrench or whatever. Heat working in the cold. That should do it. Let's see if it, the car starts now. Okay, it wants me to re 
reset my uh, window, so I'm going to do that now. Ah, uh, that didn't work. It didn't go back to the correct height. And it's still giving me a million errors here. Why is it doing that? tachometer is fixed. Okay, well, it looks like we're making some progress here, but let me try to figure out what's wrong with the window. Okay, uh, it didn't seem to like it that I had the door open, so when I closed the door and then repeated the procedure, now it works. So now it wants me to do the passenger side. So I'm just opening the passenger side, closing it, Okay, let's see if that did it. Uh, why isn't it doing anything? Let's try again. Okay, that's fully open. And that's fully closed. Okay, now it went away. Maybe it needs you to do it twice. Okay, so, so either it didn't like that the door was open, or it wants you to do it twice. Okay, so apparently cycling the windows twice makes that go away. It looks like I uh, more or less solved the problem that I was having, so uh, word to the wise, if you have any kind of, uh, you know, low voltage issues where you let your battery get too, too drained and, and it starts to die on you and gets too low, uh, weird things can happen with your computer, I'm telling you especially newer cars, and I consider this to be a newer car because I like these old shit boxes, you know, these, these old technology cars. New cars nowadays are like way beyond this Camaro, but um, I consider this to be newer for me anyway. And, you know, cars that are of this caliber or, or newer, the computers are just ridiculously sophisticated and, you know, not feeding them enough voltage can can result in all sorts of screwy behavior and then you got to go through these diagnostics like you know you have to be basically a computer scientist to figure out what the hell's wrong with it um, but you know in this case uh, I lucked out because the old tried and tested method of just disconnecting everything and then firing it up an hour later uh, seems to do the trick so um, and, and, and this, this universally applies to pretty much every car if you're having any kind of a weird Unex inexplicable computer issue or electrical issue or anything that's just weird and you can't explain it and, and, the, and the computer's just kind of gone haywire and the car is just not behaving right, just disconnect the battery uh, for a while and then reconnect it and oftentimes that will just reset everything, put the put the computer to sleep and then when it wakes up again it thinks that it just was born you know and, and it's just running everything for the first time and it just forgets all the problems and just starts anew right so hopefully this was helpful to you uh scared the shit out of me but it looks like everything's uh no worse for the wear so i'll see you next time when i have another problem all right bye for now yep no shit